hello everyone so what we do what we need here i need something to test my services the way we need to do that we need to have a clients so since it's a web service we need to have a web clients so there are a lot of different clients available in in the internet the famous one is postman and we have a advanced list clients as well so how are you going to get the the rest clients so the way you can do that open your browser and just look for this postman rest extension and go to chrome store here you can find the postman since i already installed the postman i have option called launch application here so for you it will be install application so once it's installed just launch the application this loading now okay just close this and just close this as well so this is the the interface which the postman interface for testing your rest apis so just let's check our method this is a get method means i'm just getting some information okay so this is just a get method or if you want to specify this is a get method you need to provide the method as well methods vault this is a get method just stop the server control c to stop the server so now i have a web server ready and i have a api also which will return the welcome message and that is a get method and the root and the path is it's just a landing page just render method i mean render script and as said we have our application running on the local host and uh, the port number is 5000 and let's do that so http 1 27 dot 0 dot 0 dot 1 and the port number is 5000 and the slash so let's click this so phone and phone so what is the error here okay let's go back to the client program let's see what happened wrong okay so let's keep it in a format i think in the file is not saved properly so i'm going to keep the server in the bottom to make sure the methods are defined in a proper structure so i have a flash ready and the application is running here and this is the root method and this is the get method so just save it the if the reason is not working earlier the program was not saved properly i mean it is not saved so just stop the server so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the program again run python file and terminal and go back to your postman client and just hit the request again that's it so welcome to python web services this is a message which we returned as a part of the welcome api okay so now what we are going to do is the first thing i need i need to have the the offline repository we are not going to retrieve the information from the database so we are going to manipulate using collections so i'm going to keep a student collection which holds the student name and the deta details so student equal and this my collection okay 
how we are going to do that let's have two collections first and the second so here student ID and name and uh, section or else we can copy from our PVD as I said this is a, a collection which we are going to use so I'm just copying from here Okay, so I have a uh, offline database or repository, so which holds the student DB. So what we are going to do is we are considering this student DB as a database, and these are the student information. So we are going to playing around with these database. So in this video, we just discussed how we are going to run the APIs and how to create the student DB. That's all. In the next video, we will start with the fetch operation and other process like update and delete. Thank you.